Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Fisher Price bathtub for babies. Uh, if you guys would like some more information on the Fisher Price bathtub for babies, please be sure to check my video description for some more information. So this bathtub is so great. Um, my older son got so much use out of it because it has this bathtub, which is good for like when they're first born. Um, and then it also comes with a little plastic seat for when they could sit up by themselves. Uh, so I used this up until nine months for my son. And then I switched to a baby seat that just kind of um, attaches to the bathtub. So this is so perfect for newborns because they're so little. So um, this gives you plenty of um, soft space to hold their little head up. Um, and to fit their body in nice and gently. Fisher Price has been around for years. They make such great products. Now I'm getting a lot of use out of it um, for my 10 week olds. I don't bathe him a ton. Um, I would say twice a week because their little skin could get dried out. Um, so I use uh, this in my bathtub. I actually put it in the tub and then I use um, a little knee pad and I clean him that way while I'm um, on my knees outside of the bathtub. Or what you could do also is um, sometimes my husband will bathe him in this. He'll put it in the bathtub and kind of just sit on the ledge and uh, like on the ledge of the bathtub with him and clean him that way. So it's super easy to use. Um, the netting is nice and soft and it's very comfortable and soothing for a baby. It can actually come off and be cleaned, which is great. Really simple um, to use that way. Tells you the little warnings on the side. Of course, don't leave an infant in this bathtub by themselves. Um, this easily unattaches. It's attached to like little plastic clippings, but this easily comes off. Um, and then what I do to wash it is I just put it in the hand wash cycle or the gentle cycle in my washing machine, and then I let it um, hang dry. And it dries really well that way. So I just love that, um, you know, for quite a few stages, um, this works because like I said, it comes with that little seat. So this netting can come out and then it comes with a little tub seat. So when your baby can sit up by themselves, they can just sit in the little seat on the edge um, and you can clean them that way instead of having them lay down. Cause after a while they don't really, you know, when they get older, they don't really want to lay um, flat in the tub the whole time. And they start wanting to play with things and stuff. So when you attach that little seat, um, you could sit them up and have them play with some toys and stuff like that. Uh, for now, this is just so great because this part really holds my baby's head up. Uh, he's about 10 pounds right now. I've been using this since I took him home from the hospital. Um, they say like once the umbilical cord uh, comes off, you can start giving them baths. Uh, for my first son, that was about 10 days after birth. And then I was able to use this. So super perfect. And this comes with a, a little clip on the edge. Um, so what you could do with that is after use, um, because it's, you know, I'm sure everybody has a hard time finding storage. I know I do. Um, this can actually just hang up on your shower rack, on the shower door, if you have a shower door. Or um, on, I have like another piece in my shower, which I, it's like a storage piece. And I hang like, I have a loofah on there, soap, shampoo, conditioner, face wash, etc. Um, it could also hang from there as well. It really just attaches to anything. Um, so that you could just hang it there until it's dry or you could leave it there up to you how much room you have in the shower it depends so it just tells you um like the material and stuff like that and this of course you could cut off if you wanted to i actually ended up like leaving it on just a little more information about like the material and stuff it's um polythylene foam 100% that's what this netting is made of and then um, just to show you guys like how deep it is and there's the little drain so um what I do is I I honestly I just have this filled um on the faucet in the tub once it's filled I put the baby in I don't I fill it up to like I would say like here like this mark um, so if you wanted to, you could, um, plug the drain up and then this just lifts up like this. Really easily. And that'll, um, drain out the water. But what I do is 
I just, um, you know, I fill it up when the baby's done taking a bath. I leave it on the shower floor and then I just flip it over to, um, to drain out the water. But that plug is there uh, to make life easier if you want to use it. This is what the side looks like. You can just tell how, how thick it is. You can definitely add a good amount of water in there. Um, also, another thing is I definitely recommend... Um, you know, drawing it after use too with a towel, just because you could get like black mold at the bottom and stuff. Uh, mine's held up pretty well because I do um, every once in a while, not every bath, I would say like every other bath, um, I run a sponge in there and I, I clean it out. You could use like bleach if you wanted to, or just like, like a Dawn dish soap and then dry it real good after. Um, because any, I didn't, and I didn't know this till I had kids, um, any bath toys, or the tub, like anything plastic, really can grow mold if you don't um, dry it properly. So just to get the most use out of it, um, I would definitely suggest just, you know, cleaning it every other time, drying it. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. And honestly, this netting, you don't have to clean too often. I would say like every couple months, I uh, throw it in the gentle cycle in the washing machine, let it air dry, and then reattach it to the tub. So I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video on my Fisher Price baby tub. Um, it also comes in different designs, by the way. I decided to go with this one because um, I it's pretty unisex and it has like some clean colors, blue, gray, white. I do have a boy, but if you wanted to have like a pink or blue tub, you can also get those as well. So I really hope you guys found my video useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Thanks guys and have a great day.